ladies and gentlemen, um, peers, I would like to be known as um, a, a human person. And I think there is um, our opportunity. Um, we, th there is a lot of um, alarmist type language that I have heard, um, but I would like to quote Winston Churchill. He said, in every crisis, and I think we all recognize that we are in a crisis of democracy, we are in an international health crisis, we are in a crisis of trust, trust in business, trust in leadership, trust in democracy. We have seen how one individual can wipe his bottom with a constitution. And Winston Churchill said, every crisis brings opportunities. And I also would like us to focus on the opportunity that we have to take our leadership roles as educational institutions and to develop more human-centered leadership for tomorrow. And this means that we help to challenge the elitist institutions that we have become based on all these international um, accreditation criteria and how we all have continued to contribute to the so-called homo economicus model where we are all focusing on people are our greatest asset but the way that we capture them in our ledgers, in our um, accounting, we actually have all contributed to dehumanizing our common humanity because we then put people as a cost, not as an asset. And if we as educational institutions can rephrase that, and we can view people not as units of academic production, but people as truly our greatest asset. And I think leadership and developing leadership based on not a Western perspective, not on an American, an MBA perspective, but on the global excellence that we have across the number of institutions. I think therein lies a massive opportunity. And this is where I would like to commend um, WAAS because they are extremely well placed to become an effective leader in um, coming up with due um, outcomes and to allow us all to come to contribute in resetting this global dialogue of how we can develop human-centered leadership. Thank you so much and back